So today it's the round of 16 against Porto. Should be comfortably through with the away leg first. Let's roll the intro and get straight into it. In the heart of Northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome back to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Since you were last with me, form's been a bit in and out. First of all, we beat Palmo 5-2 with Costa getting a hat-trick, Bondhouse and Pingle on the score sheet. For a 4-2 victory against Juventus, Lala, Zhao getting a brace and Costa. We beat Hells Verona 2-0, Randolovic and Mainu on the score sheet. We then went on to face Genoa in a one-all draw with Randolovic getting a very late equaliser there. We then faced off against Roma and won 3-0. Pingu, Costa and Kerbiasi getting the goals. Then we faced AC Regina, drew one all. Bondhouse getting our goal, but Costa having a shocking match. So I spoke to him, told him I wanted better. And in the next game against Sampdoria, Milenkovic and Jao getting a 2-0 victory. Costa getting a 7.2, definitely upped his game there. So the team to face Porto is Nunes in goal. Hockmeister, Hein, Kirby Assi and Diaz at the back. Rose and Carlos in midfield. Uh, Carlos has been here for a few years, been out on loan and progressed quite a bit. So I thought I'd give him an opportunity today. Um, he's looking quite good. I think he can probably play in the um, libero role as well. So we might look at that at some point. Costa, Zhao and Clerk behind Pingle up top. So let's get going, shall we? And hope for a victory today and make life very much easier in the second leg at home. This is the away leg, so as always, a draw is a good result. Um, form, like I say, has been a bit hit and miss at the last few weeks, so... We're hoping for a better result today, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Costa's picked up a knock and is going to have to come off early on. What does this mean? Uh, Garnacho, I think, is the one to come on for him, bring him straight off. He's not long come back from a knock, so that's a little bit worrying. And the referee, what? The referee pointed to the spot that. It's a penalty. I didn't see anything wrong there. I don't know what. It's very poor ref in Fernandez with the penalty and Nunes unable to get a hand to it. It's Porto 1, Pro Vicelli 0. Let's hope we can get another a, a goal, you know, wake up a little bit. We're going to wait for this highlight to end before we make a shout. Here's Rose, Kerbyassi, to Nunes, Diaz. Unable to get there. Here's Kotov. Kotov, and it's 2-0. Oh, dear. 
this is not the start we wanted. And I think now we can demand more. Hopefully wake these boys up because this is shocking. Rose does intercept, but Porto do manage to get the ball back. And Kotov is through, and it's another goal. Alton has played it 3 0, and the thought of a draw being the best result is out the window now. We just need to get something from this, and it's appalling display so far. We've done absolutely nothing. What do I do? That's a foul. Hopefully Ganacho's not injured as the No penalty. Well we knew it wasn't a penalty. A yellow card for Melenkov and luckily Garnacho is fine. I think I throw the water bottle at this result. Some people are not happy, but it had to be done. Hockmeister's now picked up a knock early on in the second half. He's going to come off. Uh, Zhao's coming off for Randolovic. Carlos is coming off for Milenkovic. Let's go. Come on. Sorry, my phone's just beeping away. I don't know what's going on. Let's, uh, I will have a look at that in a minute. I'll just shut it up for now. Clerk having a poor game as well. He's going to come off for Bondhouse on the right. Come on, boys. Do something. We need a goal. 3-0 is going to be hard to come back from. I mean, this team has made outstanding comebacks in the past, but this is going to be difficult. We need a goal. We need at least one goal as things stand. And that ball's played through to Pingle, who puts it over the bar. Wow, this is poor. Hines now got the ball. He's pushing on. Our player's going to join him. No, he has to turn back. Plays it to... And now Randolovich is on the ball. Playing across Garnacho. Garnacho across oh, some Bondhouse. Puts the ball in the back of the net to get us one back. If we can get another one, it will be a good result from where we were. But I somehow don't think we will. We're out of subs. Some of the players are looking shattered. And they've scored again with Alton. Wow. I'm going to go very attacking for the last four minutes. Try and get a goal back. Don't think it's going to happen, though. As they've got a free kick right in the at the top of their area. It's Diaz. Kirby Assi. Can we spin it around and get that goal back again? 4-2 gives us a chance. It means we're only two goals away. But not like that. We're not going to be able to do anything with it. Here's Rose. Plays it over the top to Bondhouse. It just drags him shot wide. Oh, dear. It looks like it's all over. It is. And Porto have made us struggle. Now, it's going to take a lot for us to beat them in the second leg. I'll see you when we're ready for that. So here we go. We are 4-1 down. And uh, I am just going through the results. We beat 
Juventus 4-1 in between. I am recording this after the fact because once again I forgot to turn on my microphone but I had to uh, continue it and you'll see why. We have made changes to the team. We've gone back to wing backs. Um, we've gone to a ball winning, sorry, a ball playing defenders. We've got La La as a box to box in there. Here we go against Porto. The team is ready to go. And I've explained about the team. I'm quite nervous at this point. Um, obviously, this is um just trying to get a bit of green going we all like a little bit of green um pun intended um but here we go we are looking for a fast start and the ball is played into the middle and we have it randolovich has scored and as you can see i was very happy but it's a long way to go in this game the goal is awarded we skip the highlight. It was obvious it was awarded. And I'm just looking at the team and thinking we're playing quite well. I noticed that Manchester City are six goals up in their tie already. Here is Kirby Assi. Great header in and makes it 2-0. Good play there from Pingle. Ball is saved and Kirby Assi is fastest to react to the keeper punching it out. 2-0. We are still in with a chance of progressing. Can we get a third? Surely not within 20 minutes. Here is Lala playing it back to Kirby Assi. Kirby Assi, Milenkovic. Kirby Assi, what can he do with it? Plays it to Milenkovic. Milenkovic to Randolovic, who shot, goes just over. And I suspected this is a sign of things to come. We are almost there, but can we get past the final? Another shot going wide. I'm starting to get a little bit worried about things. Sorry about that. Um, I had a cough. So with that being said, we nothing really happens. And I'm thinking we're two nil down. We're two. We're still one nil down in theory. We need another goal before half time. If we can go into half time with the tie level on aggregate, that would be a massive, massive thing for us. So here, Ralphie, we're building from the back. The ball comes out to Min. Min plays it in, does he? Yes, he does. And the ball's headed, and it's. Come all around and Garnacho really poor there coming in from the back doesn't really do much and at half time we're up 2-0 but we're down still 1-0 on aggregate I tell them they've got a bit of faith I know they can do better and here we go 50 minutes now on the clock and still nothing happens but we do have a free kick and Pingle has the ball over the free kick and it's pushed out for a corner and now's the time I decide to swap things around a bit Costa goes out to the left Garnacho moves to the right and we move Pingle up top and hope for a difference that that will make and the, it all happens here comes Kirby Assi and Costa puts up and scores and that proves that moving him out to the left was exactly the right thing to do the slightly different positions they were in in that corner did play into our hands and make things a lot different For it and helped us out here is Garnacho on this right hand side plays it back to Diaz Diaz and is that a penalty it doesn't matter the ball's gone through Randolovich has scored I pump the air with excitement 
and we are ahead on aggregate. I can't quite believe what I've seen from this team. And I apologise for the uh, thing coming up. I moved the mouse with excitement. Here is Pingle. Plays it over. Man Milenkovic not quite able to get there. And we are ready to push on. Nunes on the ball. Plays it to Kirby Assi. Lala. Garnacho back to Diaz. Diaz to Kirby Assi. What can he do with it? Plays it to Rolfi. Manu Milenkovic. Min. We're just passing it around at the back. Wasting a little bit of time. This is something which I think we do quite well. Once we're in charge, we can hold on to the ball and keep the opposition from getting there. Strangely, though, I find that Porto haven't really come out in this game at all. Their great flick, the keeper flicks it out, and that's an own goal for Castillo. And adds to the misery of this goalkeeper and defence who have been poor throughout this game. It's 5-0 on aggregate. Sorry, in the game. On aggregate, it's 6-4. So I decide that we are going to make changes. Guerrero comes on for Garnacho. Bondhouse on for Costa. I'm looking around. Kirby Assi, I now decide to bring off on that yellow card. And do I bring off Dano? Comes on for Randolovic as well. And that's where we end the substitutions at the moment. We will probably be looking to make another change before the end of the game we're getting ready with that Tonali on for Milenkovic just to waste a little bit of time we've done it they're coming on at different times just to again ensure that we can push on to get this victory but Santa Cruz has stolen it from us but Min's there to cover and get the ball now Milenkovic what can he do plays it to Ralphie Rolfi to Min. Min plays it to Bondhouse. Back to Min. Min to Dano. Dano with a beautiful ball across to Guerrero who cuts inside and gets his first goal of the season. The boy is starting to actually play quite well in the little bits of game time that he's getting this season. And that could be good for the rest of the season and next season I think someone that I potentially was looking at maybe getting rid of last summer may be here to stay and I'm ready to celebrate the arms are up it's 6-0 with 7-4 up on aggregate I'm talking now about the quarterfinals who would we like in the quarterfinals and who we'd like to avoid and I think the two that I really want to avoid presuming they're both through it looks like at the last time the scores flicked up they were is Real Madrid and probably Manchester City I'd like to avoid but we do have a corner this is very late on in the game can we get a seventh or is it going to stay at six? Rolfi gathers at the back post. Bondhouse crosses it in. And the ball does come away. And Guerrera plays it back to Tonali and Rolfi. And the highlight does come to an end. But straight away into another one. With a throw in high up the pitch. What can we do with it? Min, can he find a ball across? No, he walks it into the corner. The ball gets played back to Tonali. His shot is high and wide. But you can't blame people for trying at the moment after the shocking keeping and defending from this Porto side who had the tie in their hands and have just completely capitulated in this, uh, in this game and shown up. We've just shown them right up here. 
Here is Guerrera. What can he do? Plays it. Doesn't get the ball. And it is Santa Cruz. But Dano's taken the ball off of him. Can Dano get a late goal? Plays just wide with the shot. Unlucky. That's someone that I'd love to see get a goal. Dano is one for the future. He's got an assist today. Hasn't got a goal. And with that, we are through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And who do we face? We will find out in the next episode. But we will either we do want to avoid Manchester City or Real Madrid. Bayern Munich are winnable. Newcastle are probably winnable. And Dortmund. And I think this just leaves me with one more thing to say. I've been the mass manager. You've been fantastic. Thank you again. But I've been the mass manager. Please like and subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I have spoken.